Good morning everyone. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura and today is floss tube. It is my 72nd floss tube. It is May 11th, 2021 and it's almost 9 o'clock in the morning. Here we are again. What a week guys. What a week. Got my cup. Got my cup for the month. Isn't it beautiful? Courtesy of Miss Phyllis. Thank you so, so very much. And today, I have, it's a chai tea. It's by Two Leaves. I brought the box because I couldn't remember all that. It says Organic Mountain High Tea. And it's a black tea and it has lots of spices in it. I don't see a thing. Oh, come on. Help me out here. I, well, I can taste cloves. Look, gotta look. And it's all organic, so it has ginger, cinnamon, cardamom, cloves, rose petals, and marigold flowers, and black tea. But this is one of the teas that my sister had gotten me. Oh, I think sometime last year. Perhaps for my birthday. Can't remember. But she sent me tea for my birthday and for Christmas. So, yeah. So, how's everybody doing? Oh, yeah. It, it was a week. It was a week. And, you know, I've shown you this and it's looked worse, right? This doesn't even reflect what the week was like last week. And then in the middle of it all, my grandson went to, um, on a field trip to the sand dunes and he got a really bad sunburn. So that was like on Thursday. I was sick. What was that? Wednesday, Thursday. Felt a little bit better on Friday. But, okay, so he went on the field trip on Thursday and by Friday he was... You know, so blistered that he couldn't go to school. And so by Mother's Day, he had blisters on his back. So got him taken to the doctor and everything is fine. He's recuperating. He's not allowed to go back to school. So until like next Monday, they just want him to stay home all week. Because that's how bad the blisters were. I'm not going to show pictures. You don't want to see pictures. So, yeah. My, in her Mother's Day, we were supposed to go to brunch at about 11. Well, I was a little late for brunch, but we went to brunch. And we couldn't order lunch, so we ordered breakfast. So, that's why I'm calling it brunch. So, he had to go home with his dad. They got their food to go. He couldn't even sit with the shirt on. That's how bad it was. I'm just going there. So hopefully, you know, and he's fine if he doesn't have a shirt on, but just sit in. No. <coughs> so we got that all taken care of. Uh, yeah. In the middle of all this. So yeah, I didn't have, I wasn't because I was sick. I just didn't feel like stitching a lot. So and I'm, you know how when you're sick, you're just trying to tread water to get, you know, and get through the week and get through the week. But yeah, so by about Saturday, I was feeling much better. I mean, it seems like my nose is still stuffed up, but it's not affecting me. I mean, that first two days, well, yeah, I had to lay down and sleep and I didn't feel like stitching and I couldn't concentrate. I felt like I was in a fog. But that's what happens with me when I get sick. It's like fog, fog haven. Haven, heaven. Whew. Yeah. We're better now. Everybody has seen it. Either seen a doctor or they're recuperating. So, we're good. We're going to hope that this week is much better. So, I, I make a little cheat sheet, you know. So that I kind of know where I'm going with this all. 
But, you know, in past weeks, you know I've started three, four things in a week or seven things in a week. We only had two starts this week. And the only haul that I got was the Tudor B um, pattern in. I had everything else to go with it from a previous order. And then the threads that I picked up at the the thrift store. Yeah, that was, that was, yeah, I couldn't believe, I just picked up one bag to look at it, and I look over, and there's another bag, and then there was another bag under that. I'm like, we're done, sold, because sometimes they have a lot of stitching stuff, and they have more artsy, craftsy stuff, or whatever, but, so this was the first time that I ever saw, and like you saw from previous videos, that I might pick up three or four skeins of, uh, of uh, thread, you know, here and there, they might have that, or they they either have a little or a whole lot. So I took the whole lot. They didn't have any material. Sometimes I've been able to pick up some Ada there, you know, and some books, but didn't see anything. I was just like in and out. I think that was either Friday or Saturday. I've lost track. Let, let's just start on a new week and we know what everything's going on. So, <sighs> so I started Tudor B last week and I started Mary Jane Fry and I got that from, um, we talk fiber.com. Uh, cause I was watching fiber talk on, uh, Wednesday? It was either Wednesday or sometime over the weekend. So, yeah. that That's the only start. I mean, start starts that I had. I did start um, the uh, oh, what is it called? The colorful, I call it colorful uh, yin and yang. I'm going to show you these not in any particular order. So, this is the yin and yang I'm talking about. When I ordered this, you could order the other yin and yang as well. And they weren't in silk. They were both in cotton. So, and I don't even remember if that was an option. But isn't that beautiful? Just beautiful. I got this from a digi do-it-yourself digital art. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So... I mean, I start these things, and sometimes I just don't feel like working on them. And this is a fairly good size. Size. It's. I thought I dropped something. Sorry. We're here. Oh, geez. Um. So it's fair size. You know, I would say it's probably twenty by twenty, maybe close to it. I mean, this piece of material. The actual picture is going to be down to here. So you cut off several pieces, or, you know, several things. And it goes over farther on this side than it did on this side, of course, because you got the key. So, yeah, we just started in this little corner. I just love that orange. It is so pretty. And when you get it with all the others, so it's an 11 count, so it'll be nice and easy to work on. But I just... I don't know. Kind of hit a funk. Just, yep, get it all started and then, no, nope, can't do. I, I want to work, I guess, on too many things at one time. What are you doing over there? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? She's just being weird. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Oh, there she is. I couldn't see her. There you go. So she's just sitting there. She, I didn't wear my robe this morning, so she has nothing to lay on. <laughs> she has her own. I got her a soft blanket at the thrift store. I'm like, that's a perfect size for Molly. Yeah, I know. Spoiled rotten child. Okay, so we're going to go with the, the starts. So one of the other things that I started, if I can find the the thing, hopefully it won't be too glary, is Tudor B by, I'll take it out, it's got a really heavy, Tudor B by uh, the Blue Flower, loved it, 
it's just so cool. Yeah. I like the one, there was another one about this same size of, and it has the white swans at the bottom, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to make a black swan. I don't know. Because you can't see the white swans, I mean, it, on that material that they use. So, I opted to use, you know, I got three different, I almost said flavors, colors and material because I just bought this little piece of material. It is 13 by 18. And this one is called, I opted for this one, it's a 28 count vintage bittersweet linen. And this is the first time I have stitched on linen. It's going well, not a problem, but I've just been tired. Just tired, I just, I want to stitch all the things, but, you know, some are cooperating. So this is all I've gotten done. But, yeah, it's going okay. Better than I thought it would. I mean, I wasn't real sure. I like this material, and I love the color. And this is not going to be very big. Um, in fact, the pattern is, like, all on one page. So maybe, perhaps, because you got it. This is about halfway, I would say. Because you're going to have this come down that way and come around. So it'll be about twice that size. So we'll have plenty of this left over. But, yeah, I mean, I was shocked first time I worked on linen. that I had that 28-count doubloon linen. And I hadn't even stitched on even weave at that point. So it was like, oh, this, and you, I can't do this in hand because all my stitches would be like way too tight. So it's working out. It really is. I just got to take my time and I can see it. So, I mean, it, it's 28 counts perfect. Let's not go any smaller. Let's not get crazy, okay? I say that now and the next thing you know, I'll be working on 32 count. We're just taking it slow. This is what's going to happen. So, I'm not going to push myself, but I really like that little pattern. It's nice, easy to read, and I can't even remember what the other one is called. But um, I do like the Blue Flower. It seems like I had something else from Blue Flower, and I can't remember what it was. I want to say, no, that's my big toe. So, I was trying to think. Brain's gone. Okay, and let's see, the other, those were the two things that I started, and we'll just get the big one out of the way. I worked on spring because, like I said, comfort stitching and stitching that I don't have to think about, just follow the colors, follow the squares, is my big spring, making sure I had it right side up. And I got that from Do It Yourself Digital Art. It is just, I love it. Done on tan. We'll call it tan. Everything is in Chinese. I'm using two strands for that reason. And I keep this all separate. But, yeah, it's a big one. So, and it's not overly big. And I like that it, it's a partial because some of the the sky is not it doesn't have symbols on it. So it's to me it's a partial, but I love that tan Ada. And it's an eleven count. So I've almost got that one corner done, so I'm just kind of continuing over and you can see I put a couple of threads someplace else. I'm just trying to use up the thread. So if it's within, you know, a space. But, yeah. And someone asked if I uh, start, how do I start, you know, a sample? Where do I start? Do I start in a corner or do I start in the center? No. I, I have never been brave, brave enough to start in the center of anything because I am 
totally paranoid. And in fact, I'll buy my material like four inches bigger just so that everything works out. But that's starting in the center. I can't. No. Nope. So, as you know, I mean, you'll see on most of my projects, I start in a right or a left hand corner, uh, or top right or left. But I usually start in the corner or and on my, uh, what do you call it, pre-stamps, I start usually on a side. So it's usually the side that's closest to me for, like I did here, you know, so that I can go this way across the whole thing. Now, like I said, I'm jumping around here, you know, because this... It doesn't matter so much. I can count it. I mean, I don't have to count anything on these because it's all there. I just fill in where the color is supposed to be. So that's my comfort stitching. I love it. And I don't know where I'd be without pre-stamps to cut the... Whoa. That's trying to get it to sit up. Um, to fill in where, you know, if I get home, no, it's going to get worse, people, in the summer. We're going to be so busy, you know, you won't even know you were there because it just, it goes like that. And I'll be working till 10 o'clock at night, so I won't do on two nights a week. And this schedule is going to stay the same, so I'll work two nights a week and one day. Done. I don't have to work weekends. It's great. And granted, that is where most of the uh, the busy time of the year is. But I'll be so tired by the time I get home at like 10, 15, 10, 30. I don't want to look at anything, but I can look at those. Because it's real easy to stitch. So, yeah. We also worked, we, me, uh, on this one. Whoops. There we go. This is what I call colorful flowers. Didn't have a name. And it is 60 by 60 as well. And where you see black, it is black. Or uh, I think, like, yep, it is black. This one is 310. The other one is uh, 9, 935, I think. So. We didn't get a whole lot done on this. But as you can see, it's about 20 by 20. Give or take. But your pattern is only going to be... Well, this comes all the way to the edge. So, we're good. But I worked on the bottom part. And I even picked this up a little bit and did it, you know, one night when it's just right there. Grab it. So, we almost got that one flower done. There, There's like one, maybe two more, possibly three more symbols to fill in. But wherever you see all that yellow, that's all black. So, take. I'm going to take, try to take the black a little bit at a time. So, if I'm working up here, I'll just try to get the black done, you know, that's up here. So I won't save it all for last, because it'll be a, it'll be something. But uh, they do send you extra, there's two knots like this of black, so hopefully that'll be enough. And I'm using three strands, I believe. Oops. Got to have everybody's little booklet. These are such... These are really nice kits. I mean, for something that's nondescript and, you know, it's not Joy Sunday or anything that... or dimensions or whatever. But they come with nice thread and nice printing and a lovely booklet and it gives you your other key and you how you can break it all down, you know, and do a little bit at a time. So, yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. I've had, I have big ones by them, too, that I bought, I believe, on, 
one of two places, Amazon or AliExpress, so I can't remember. And let's see. We worked on... Oh, God. I think somebody told me this is Rivendell from Lloyd of, bleh, Lord of the Rings. I'm not a... I watched Lord of the Rings, but I'm not... My sister and her family, they've watched it 10,000 times. They love it. I just never got real into it. I don't know, maybe because I was working too much or whatever. So, I mean, I thought each of the things was fabulous when they were all... You know, if, if you watch it as a seri series, I have nothing against it. It's just like, oh, okay. Because medieval, or what do you call it, Middle Earth, I don't know what the word is that I'm trying to find. It's just not me. I I can watch it, you know, and everybody made such a big deal about Lord of the Rings. So, here we are. But, yeah. There we go. So, we worked on it a bit. It has some really pretty colors. I'll be at, It's a 14 count. And this is another one. I mean, it. it's not a company that... I've ever heard of. I mean, I have gotten a few that are by this DIY cross stitch. It's just a nondescript company. It's not as popular as, <coughs> excuse me, as, uh, I'll say Joy Sunday or Dimensions or Realists or whatever. Yeah. But it is 40 by 85. So, it has nice thread. It has a lovely key. You know, and it's printed on here really well. You can read all the things. It's kind of long. So it's 85 centimeters long by 40, I think I said. Yeah. So, I just love the picture. Just absolutely love the picture. Oh, might help if I show you. So, we didn't work very much of it. We worked right down here in this corner. And it is an 11 count, which I like. Easy to see, easy to read. So anybody could could stitch us, you know. It's just nice and easy. It's got some big areas in it, which is fine, you know, because you have to get the, the color and the, the shading. Words are hard. And this is 939 down here. That's what I was telling you about. So, that's all I got done. But it's kind of comfort stitching. You can watch TV and, and do it. You don't have to pay attention. You know, just stitch in your area and just cross stitch. It's, I'm so glad that I have these pre-stamped because that's what they are. They're easy and... Yeah, but not so easy. You know, I mean, there's a lot of stitching to some of them. So, but you don't have to count. You don't have to think. I've said it a hundred times. I'll stop. And I worked on this one. It is actually a Joy Sunday. And it's called the Seaside Lighthouse Number 1. I just love this. I love this. I love this in a diamond painting. But, yeah. I can hardly wait to stitch it completely. It is just absolutely beautiful. And I like lighthouses and things like that. So, I didn't... Whoops. Hang in there. I got threads in 15 different directions here. Got to get it out of the way. So, we're working on the side here. And it's not very big. It... I don't know if it'll tell me. Um, it is can't read it sideways. Just one minute. 56 by 45. So we're working on this side. Now remember where I told you I'd start at the bottom and I'm working this way across because that's the easiest way for me to get all my crosses right and I can see it. But yeah, it's just going to be gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Love all the colors. 
yeah, it's good. So I, you know, keep a couple of these out so that if I really don't want to think, I can just pick them up and stitch. Let's see. So I think that's all of those. Then I worked on trying to get the, the picture using all the called for threads. I did pick a different uh, material. This is Dankworth by Long Dog Samplers. It is so pretty. It, I just love the orange tinge with the the turquoise teal colors in it. It's just gorgeous. <coughs> and somebody else is, is stitching it. And I can't remember right offhand in my brain. And I'm stitching it on 16 count Tyco from Picture This Plus. So, yeah. What we need is a few more colors and strings hanging. And it, it's not a very big piece. It's more up and down. So the piece that I got was 17 by 25. Let me fold it in half. And I can't even begin to tell you what color this is. It's kind of a a pale yellow green maybe uh, uh, it's not predominantly green it's not predominantly yellow but this is what I got done I was having a heck of a time down here in this I was like trying to stitch okay every third color is different so I tried to count across there what happened I ripped it out three times no so I finally decided do because they kind of go on a diagonal, so just do those two, do those two. Do. Things got better. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, that's all I've gotten done on that, and it's easy to see. The pattern is beautiful. Yeah, but it does change. Not a not a whole lot. I mean, I've had way worse, you know, color changes in uh, Hands Across the Sea. Yeah, no. It's not like that. It It's just, it's just stitching. It, it, it's fine. So I have to convince myself kind of, you know, when I get a rough start on something, it's like really hard for me to just do it. Just stitch. You know, it, I get a thing in my brain and I can't get rid of it. So I am working my way up to the horses. That, excuse me. Unicorns. It's always unicorns with long dog. They look like horses from this distance. But God, it is just... I like this and I like uh, Air Apparent. And then there was another one. With something to do with rabbits. But, yeah. So I thought we'd just try Dankworth. <coughs> Good gravy. This was not a good idea on this tea. It is not soothing my throat. All the spices are making me cough today. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, my goodness. And then I watched floss tube, people's floss tubes on... It was either Saturday or Sunday. I can't remember. Looking. It was Saturday. I saw three people working on Pandemic. What did I have to do? Well, you might as well just pull that out, little girl, because, you know, let's stitch. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I started in this corner, as you know, and I'm working my way up. I think I'm... Oh, or there's a bird there somewhere. Yeah. There's. Anyway. Where this bird comes in. So that's like the top of the first page somewhere. It's like half of the bird you'll see when I show it to you. Uh-huh. Yeah. So. Yeah. Because this is the third time that I've started this. Because I started this and ripped it out four times. Trying to get this corner 
just right. I don't know what the heck was wrong. I'm doing it on Ada. Hello. Using 16 count Regency from Picture This Plus with number 34 DMC. And this is kind of a green. And this is the color. It's kind of a magenta. I don't know if it'll show up bright, but you know what magenta looks like. But it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Just love it. And this fabric is kind of got a, it's like a mint green. i got to get my threads out of the way. As you can see, here's the top where I stitched. Yeah. I was like, after the third time I frogged it out, I was like, nope, we've got to start someplace else. So, I did. Hang on, guys. This is a fair size piece of this. But I love this green with this magenta. It's just beautiful. So, I'm trying to get the thread somewhere where it's not going to hang. Right in your way. Oh my goodness. Am I organized or what? So, like I said, I thought that there was something wrong here. Previously is why I put it down. And I'm having to use my line keeper because... No, but I'm using my line keeper and I don't know what happened. So today or Saturday, I got this out and I'm almost got this section to meet up with this. And that's where the 20 part is. It's going to say 20, 2020 on it. I don't know that I'll keep the 2020. That's on the other side of that pattern. But yeah, that's all I got done. And I still don't, I didn't, I just started here. I don't want to think about this. We'll just, if it just meets up, we'll be good. Because it won't affect anything else. <coughs> One way or the other. So, yeah. But I love it. I really do. And it's just, it's so much thinking. Pandemic is pandemic. It should have been called this should have been called the plagues of Egypt because it's been a nemesis for months. I mean, I've had this since it came out because I got it for free. You know, that first week or whatever, they had it free. So probably April of last year, and this is all I've gotten done. I love it, but, you know, it get, gets to me. But I still use my line keeper. Thank you, whoever sent those to me. Yeah. Wonderful. Love it. And I've used those line keepers on long dogs. I've used it on um, ink circles. They're godsend. Absolutely a godsend. Okay. So one more thing that I started this week. I forgot about it. And I don't know where my picture is. Oh, yep, I do have a color picture. So this is Mary Jane Fry, 1861, reproduced by Amanda Rowe, the solitary stitcher. Isn't that pretty? It's just pretty, period. I just love it. Yeah. And it's just got all the little doodads and all the little things and... So, I picked out, don't ask me what I got this fabric for and what didn't work out, but uh, it is 28 count oh dear, oh no, did I lose my I think it's 28 count Joblin lamb's wool and don't ask me I don't know who it's by but yeah I just left it in the thing so I got the top right hand corner I thought I'd start there got all of that done and I had gone all the way across here when I got ready to put that second line in and it didn't match up so I had to frog I just had like that much of it done so I just uh, ripped it out. Now, the thing about this is, 
I wanted to use my beautiful new um, cost for DMC. You know me. No, that's not going to work. So I got out my uh, sulky. So I'll just show you three at a time. So I had enough thread and some of them are variegated like the brown on this end and then the one in the middle. It's more of a gold. I don't know why it's showing up but that way and then these and so I have another variegated over here and these two whoops sorry these two are kind of solid so yeah loving it and I love the sulky threads haven't moved on to a Verisua 103 or whatever which is so don't know it's the year of try everything so don't ever say never this year so we're gonna try different things just so we can broaden all of our horizons at the same time but yeah I really like this Joblin it is just beautiful it's kind of a uh, I don't know it's like a light tea dye color I don't know that it's showing it well but oh it goes this way sorry so yeah it's it's showing up and it's working well so we're just gonna keep stitching on it but see I had these 28 count things and after a while it's like I can't even see anymore so that's when I go to my pre stamps just kind of got to break it up because heaven knows I can get way too much 28 count going but and it, I have to think about it a little bit harder than I would Ada but it's not bad I mean after a while your what, what did somebody call it muscle memory kicks in uh, so you know where to go with the needle does that I don't know that that makes sense but you remember how big the stitch looks in your brain after you do it for so long so I'm not an expert by any means I'm just saying it'll all kick in it, it will so that is everything that I worked on not too much like I said for me I mean I think I had 10 projects maybe I don't know I mean there was one day that I did work on three different things but who knows all right so we got past that I think um, let me just fill in the blanks before I do this there are three kits coming from everyday e-crafts don't know where they're at or when they'll show up I think they were ordered probably shipped about the 18th to the 20th somewhere haven't showed up when I looked last it was stuck in Denver for a week or more I don't know what the problem is so haven't gotten those then there was the other company which I can't think of what their name is you know you'd think I'd go back and look at the email but I don't know what it is contacted me about doing a video and showing their product which is a pre-stamp cross stitch it's supposed to be two coming he did email me for some reason it wouldn't ship it to my post office box so I'm kind of guessing that it's either coming uh, UPS or FedEx. I don't know. So, they're out there. So, let us get on to the getaway. Or getaway. Yeah, let's just get away. I really like to run. Oh man, I really don't want to take this out. But this is the beautiful, beautiful pre-stamp that I'm going to give away today. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at those flowers. Can't you just smell them? Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm not going to touch that anymore because it's got a crinkly cover on it. I, I don't want to get involved because I did that once. But it has beautiful threads. Beautiful um, everything. 
the canvas is gorgeous. It's like the the flower one. I mean it you can see it. It's it's beautiful. It's an 11 count, I think, and it's 35 by 45. So, everybody put the word flower who wanted to be considered for this drawing. So, let's see who's going to win the flowers. We had lots of entries. Lots of entries. Good. Good, I like that. And there will be more coming, guys. I'm just trying to... Oops. Come back. I didn't drop anything. Um, when we get to summer, I'm going to be ordering some more pre-stamps to give away. So, hang in there. And I picked one out of the thing. Close that up because we know Laura. And the winner of the flowers is Maria Abliski. And I will put that up here. Whoops. Sorry. I wrote it kind of close to the edge. So Maria Abliski. I don't know that I'm saying a police guy. I don't know exactly how I'm, if I'm saying it right. But Maria, congratulations. And I will make a comment on the comment that you uh, commented on that video. And if you could just send me your, I will put my email address in there. And then if you can send me your shipping information. I will be shipping this on Thursday. So I'm going to put that right down there. Now, what's for this week? Huh? Okay. So, I don't think we need that part. The new giveaway for this week is going to be the bunnies. Aren't they cute? I love the bunnies. I'm going to take this out. They'll be crinkling. So cover your ears. It's in this heavy plastic. I'm just going to take it out real quick, and then I don't have to put it back in. These are the rabbits. Aren't they cute? It's a nice little... I don't know that it's a sticker or not a sticker, but it's on a sheeny plastic. I call it plastic. Piece. Somebody said it was a sticker. I'm not going to try it. I don't want to ruin it. But isn't that gorgeous? Just gorgeous. Now, it is a full coverage. Where you see green, you're stitching the green. So, it has a nice pattern. It, this is the, the chart that comes with it. And a nice key. It comes with instructions for what to use and what to do with it, how to stitch, if you don't know how. Shows you all the things. Hang on. And here's that green. It's like a an emerald green, if you will. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And all the beautiful colors. Nice, long beautiful colors, lots of greens, and there are some tans and browns, as you can see, for the bunnies. They're so cute. And this is the canvas. I'm trying to look. It is an 11 count. I wanted to make sure. It's not very big. But, you know, I mean, it's not that 60 by 60. It says 50 by 50. So it's 10 centimeters smaller than the, the flower ones that I got. But still, it's a gorgeous pattern. And, you know, push come to shove. If you didn't want to put all that green in that background, you could just do the bunnies in the center. But it's just gorgeous. Comes with two needles. And all your thread. It, it's just. I love this. So that is the next one. 
So, in the uh, comment section below, if you would like to stitch this one, or you'd like to be considered for the giveaway, put the word bunnies. And I will draw on this next floss tube. Oh, you pay. That was enough, huh? Wow. Day. Telling you. Thank you again for the cup. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Look at those rows. Look at the detail. I mean, it's just, it's, it's stunning. I just absolutely love it. And the little gold trim. Beautiful, Phyllis. Beautiful. I'm not going to touch that. I'm looking at this plastic and I'm like, don't touch it because it'll make that horrible noise. I know it kind of drives me crazy, especially, it doesn't bother me in person, but when it's on somebody's floss tube or what or their video, it just makes ten times the noise. So we're just not gonna touch it. All right, guys. I think that is gonna be it for this week. I'm looking for my piece of paper because I didn't want to touch. I know I touched it, didn't I? Ah, uh, Maria. Please get touch with me after I comment and I will get it mailed out to you and I hope you love your beautiful flowers because it's a beautiful pattern and just gorgeous 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 stuff all right guys thank you for joining me today I appreciate all of your comments and all of you participating in all my crazy craziness and the giveaways it it just means the world to me thank you so much very much I am very, truly blessed to have each and every one of you. Thank you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Please hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. God bless. And we will see you tomorrow. Keep stitching. Bye-bye.